Hello, welcome back to my video for Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. It is that time of year again where we're making our guide on how to find Mew and Mewtwo in Pokemon Ruby. This Pokemon is an extremely rare, powerful, legendary Pokemon. You want it on your team. Trust me, this method will work and you want to follow it to a T. All 10 minutes of it. So, first off, you want to go start in Oldale Town. Is this Oldale Town? Let's check. Yeah! Wow! Pokemon knowledge. Woo! Gonna start Oldale Town. Gonna head south onto Route 101. First encounter you find here. It is very important. You're gonna catch five consecutive Pokemon. You need the first one to be a shiny. That is basically where we're starting in this whole method. You need the first Pokemon to be shiny. You gotta catch it. You gotta call it a specific name. Let us try our luck. I'm hoping for the best. If you do not find that shiny on your first encounter, you will not be able to get Mewtwo and Mew. Oh my goodness, it's a shiny Zigzagoon. Live reaction. Wow, he got it on his first try OSRS moments. You want to use your Ultra Ball. Has to be an Ultra Ball. You want to capture the Zigzagoon. Shoot, we did not capture the Zigzagoon. We're going to try again. Or... If you have a Ninjask or a Pokemon that knows False Swipe, like I've mentioned for the past five years of me making videos, you want to False Swipe it. And that will make it easier to catch, especially a shiny Pokemon that does not have any recoil-based moves, as Zigzagoon does not have any recoil-based moves until it starts using Struggle. But the first step in this guide is you need to catch a shiny Pokemon on your first encounter. If your first encounter while initiating this method is not a shiny Pokemon, you will not be able to complete the rest of the method, which will allow you to obtain a Mew and Mewtwo. So we are going to name this Pokemon today as we have every single year today. All right, today. All right, now we're going to go back to Odell Town. We're going to head north this time to the next route, and that's where we're going to catch our second Pokemon. This one does not have to be a shiny, so good luck, and let's get an encounter. All right, second encounter is a Poochiana. That's absolutely perfect. First encounter, Poochiana. We're going to use Full Swipe again. we got to capture this Pokemon now, and we got to name it a specific way. So the whole premise behind this method is that you need to name your Pokemon in a particular method for shiny Pokemon being the first one which allows you to unlock the opportunity of finding a Mewtwo and Mew in the same encounter. It's actually with double battles being introduced in this game you actually find them both at the same time. It's outrageous. I cannot believe it. Now you do want to name this Pokemon. You need to name it is. I-S is alrighty there right back to Oldale town we go now into the next route so here you have two Pokemon you need to find you need to find a regular Pokemon does oh shoot you want to avoid that trainer if you haven't done it yet you need to find two Pokemon here let's go on the grass and I'll talk about it when I find it and that's the Pokemon we were aiming for, a C Dot. If you're playing in Pokemon Sapphire, first of all, stop playing in Pokemon Sapphire. But if you are playing in Pokemon Sapphire, your version exclusive of Lotad is the Pokemon that we need to find in this route. This is the Pokemon that we need as our third in order to unlock Mewtwo and Mew. So as we throw our Ultra Ball across the screen, we're going to wait and capture this Pokemon. There we go. We have captured CDOT. So please remember, you do need to name this in a specific way or else the method will not work. So we have today is April. That is the third Pokemon's name. April. Good thing it's a female. Makes sense. There's a second Pokemon we need here. We're going to go and find it right away. There it is. It's a Wurmple. That is the Pokemon that we need today. Today, today is April, and then we're going to have to capture this one here, and this is the fifth Pokemon that we need in order to unlock this method. We're going to throw an Ultra Ball, and we're going to capture it. Hopefully. Yahoo! We captured a Wurmple. Now, we got to name this Pokemon 2 here, so make sure you don't forget to name it. That is important. 
Today is April, and we got to call this one uh, first. Uh, so where's an F? F is here. We go I R S T first. Right. We have one last Pokemon we need for this method to truly come up to flourishing, and it is a Talo. So we're going to go into Petalburg a little bit further, halfway to Petalburg Forest, Route 104, Talo. Let's go. First encounter, Talo. I absolutely love it when that happens. This is the last Pokemon we need for this method to complete and be ready for this to work. So all we got to do now is capture a Talo. Which uh, is pretty easy, has a very high capture rate, or, yeah, high capture rate is the right way of saying it. And we're going to capture this Talo, as we have. we got to name it a particular way. There's this, this is the final, final Pokemon we have to name. If you don't name it properly, uh, it won't work. So, you need to find... Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think the method will work. Yes, exclamation marks all the way across. That was it. I forgot. It's a long method. I don't remember it too well. Anyway, so when you read these Pokemon, today is April 1st, exclamation mark. You will now be able to actually find Mewtwo and Mew when you go into the next encounter. 